Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Develop a concrete plan to reduce your debt. And this is very important because let's just be real. That's the major thing that we deal with, especially uh, in times when we get all these credit cards or an emergency come up. Debt comes there. And, you know, sometimes it can even be student loan debt. So here's the thing. You need a concrete plan to reduce your debt. Trust me. Trust me on this one. Like if it's credit card debt or no matter what the debt is from, it could have been from an emergency. It could be a car note. All of that is debt. You need a concrete plan. And it's not just playing the bare minimum. Let me uh, pay a bare minimum like on credit cards or something like that. I mean, yeah, if it's uh, like a major loan or something, yeah, you do have to pay the minimum. But even with that, always try to pay extra. That's one thing. Always pay extra. If you can give extra, it could be a student loan. So, uh, for example, say your payment is $200 a month. If you can pay them $500 a month, that's even better. But here's the thing. You need to sit down and look at your debt. You need to sit down and really examine it. Like, um, here's, here's a plan. Here's a, here's a sample plan. Say you have five credit cards. Your credit card debt is ridiculous. Well, first of all, definitely cut back on using the credit cards. Definitely cut back on it. Um, general, generally, you need once you have a credit card, you need to spend something on it every month because you don't want them to close it. Because they'll say, hey, you're not using it. What you want to do is pay them down and then close them yourself. You want to close them. But in order to do that, here, here's a basic plan. And I've discussed this before, but uh, there was a recent consultation where we were talking about uh, correcting debt. So I was like, oh, you know, I need to talk about that on my money channel. Even the young man they even know who I'm talking about and who incidentally, he's very he's going to be rich. But anyway. The thing is, say you have five credit cards. One, the one with the lowest balance, focus on paying that off. So with the other ones, you wanna pay that bare minimum plus a little bit extra just to keep them going. And then I'll, I'll talk about, you still want, well, I'll talk about it now. You still want to spend some money on it, but make it very little, like something basic. Go buy lunch or something with it just to keep it going, right? In the meantime, you want to put as much extra money on that lowest, that credit card with the lowest balance. Okay, you want to knock that out. And there's something else about credit cards I want to point out too. Uh, you want to knock that out. Okay, boom. Then the next lowest. So that money you were putting on that lowest, you paid it off, possibly even closed it. And there's one exception that you really should just keep it going. But let's just say you keep it, go uh, you pay it off. You close it. All right, that money you were putting on that one, put on the next one. And boom, until you get the largest one, and then boom, you have extra money to put on it. And now, one of the exceptions is you still need to keep a credit card. And you need to keep that for to keep your FICO score going. You never know when you're going to need credit. It's, you know, it's a brilliant scam. Let's <laughs> just be real. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. So anyway, right? You still want to keep it going. Now, if you save a credit card, maybe two at the most, maybe have one just for emergency and one, you know, splurge or something every now and then. You still want to keep them under control, but focus on trying to keep the credit cards that might not have interest on them. You do have some credit cards out there. They never charge interest. You want to get rid of, you want to try to keep that type of car. Like one of my credit card uh, that I have, I've had it for, it's closing in on a decade. I've never paid interest on it, you know, and that's the best one. That way you can, you just pay in what you use. And it was actually smart because the interest ones, I'm going to tell you what, with the credit cards with interest, those are the ones that catch you. <laughs> those are the ones who catch you. That's why you want to really always pay extra, no matter what the minimum is. All right. And that's just one. Ex that's one example. Then you look at something like student loans. Now, that's a toughie. That's that's a shoot. That's a major political issue. You want to always put extra on that. 
because that's interest. Like anything that bears interest, you always want to put extra. And you have to be disciplined. You have to be disciplined with stuff. And I'm going to get into, uh, in the next episode, I'm going to talk about things that actually put you in, in trouble. But you need a plan, even to the point of writing it down. Seriously, you need a plan. Like, just when I'm just paying my bills, I have a list of every bill I have to pay and what date I have to pay it on. And when I pay it, I'm not going to, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I said I was going to show, wait a minute, wait a minute, okay. There you go. There you go. Now, I don't know how much y'all can see this. Let me see. But it's just my payment schedule. So I have the bill, uh, estimated payment, amount actually paid, date paid. And then, you know, I just, uh, you know, check it off. I just check it off. Paid. So I just had something like this. So what I do is on this side. I just write down all of my bills for the month, all of my bills, and including any like debts or anything like that. Uh, you know, estimated, when I say estimated, cause you know, if it's a credit card or something like that, it could change. And you know how they add and just even the basic utilities like uh, cable bills, subscription bills, they might add something, but I always say estimated payment and then amount actually paid, amount actually paid, the date and everything. And this is every month. This is every month. You wanna do something like this just to keep track, just to keep track. You don't want any surprise, because I'm gonna tell you what, a lot of people, they get caught up because they don't write it down. They don't have a concrete plan, but then it don't take much to get caught up. It doesn't take much, you can just miss it. It's, it's very simple to miss. It might be, and it could be a minor credit card, a minor bill. And just because of what's going on, you actually forget to pay it. You forget, it's no, it's, I mean, there's no shame in that. I'm serious, there's no shame in that because life happens. But when you have a list or something like that, or written down, shoot, you can even get more fancy, type it up on a laptop or something, print it out and put it someplace. When you add something like that, you, you can just look at it, you know, boom, boom, boom. You, you make sure you have all the money for it and everything. And especially when you have bills that are automatically withdrawn, especially when you have those type of bills, those are, you know, you keep up with it. And then you gotta stay disciplined with the plan. You have to stay disciplined. Now, as I said, that's a concrete plan. I'm gonna get into, in the next episode, I'm going to talk about how to even avoid getting to that point. Another way that you can really uh, get your finances in order. All right, so until then, y'all know the deal. Let's go make that money. <laughs>